Larry, no more smokes at CVS. That uh, could be a $2 billion hit to your top line. Why do this? Well, we have seen the contradiction between delivering health care in a retail environment and, you know, selling tobacco. Uh, that contradiction has been out there for many years. And, you know, as we have become more of a health care company, that contradiction for us was growing. And, you know, we saw that uh, as an obstacle to playing a bigger role in health care deliveries. And we're proud to say that today, September 3rd, our more than 7,700 stores are tobacco free almost a month ahead of schedule. Uh, being a health care company and, and not selling products that could be damaging to your customers' health, could that extend to maybe overly sugary sodas or something, you know, overly fattening foods at some point? Well, you know, we do sell candy, bag of chips. Uh, you know, it's very difficult to compare those products to a pack of, of cigarettes. If, if you talk to a, a, a nutritionist, a, di a dietitian, you know, they would tell you that those products, you know, taken in moderation or the occasional use, you know, have not been proven to cause medical harm. The same can't be said about tobacco. There's no amount of tobacco use that can be considered safe. Uh, okay. We are introducing uh, more healthier choices for our consumers, and I think over time you'll see uh, our stores evolve in terms of providing more information uh, about how customers can make more healthy choices. Your most recent earnings release noted that same-store sales would have actually been higher if tobacco products were excluded. So were sales kind of already going down of tobacco? Well, yeah, I mean, as we made our announcement in February, and keep in mind there's an awful lot of work to transition 7,700 stores, you know, we began to uh, reduce our inventories. And, you know, as a result, we began to see some of the sales uh, impact, you know, of getting out of the tobacco business. Is there more to this decision than just simply looking out uh, for your uh, consumers and your customers, is there a business case to be made that tobacco should be off the shelves as well? Well, there certainly is. I mean, as, as, as we talked earlier, you know, we see an opportunity to play a, a bigger role in our health care delivery system and to help shape that. And, uh, you know, the fact that we're establishing affiliations with health systems, hospital systems, uh, we believe that uh, this decision is right for the long-term growth of our company.